Very good morning children. Today in Max, let's move on to a new chapter. Chapter 11, Patterns. So what is a pattern? First, let's learn what is a pattern. A pattern is a sequence of numbers, letters or lines and it will be arranged in a definite order. So what is a pattern? It is an arrangement of numbers, letters, lines or shapes. Especially in a design you can see the lines or shapes will be repeating and the shapes or lines will be repeating at a regular intervals. So this is what a pattern is called. So let's learn more about it. Let's have a look at these examples. In the first sequence you can see an apple, a cupcake. Again an apple, a cupcake and again an apple. So you can see that these objects are repeating at regular intervals. Can you see only an apple here? No. An apple and then comes a cupcake. Again an apple, cupcake and again an apple. If you want to draw next to apple, which object will you draw? We have to draw the cupcake. So then the sequence will be complete, right? So this is how a pattern is arranged. Now look at the next example. You can see a socks, shoes, socks, shoes and again a socks. So here also you can see the objects are repeating at regular intervals. So this is what a pattern is. Now let's have a look at these shapes. Let's look at it. First you can see a circle, then square, triangle and you know what is this shape? Let's have a look at the sides of the shape. This shape has one, two, three, four, five. A shape which has five sides is called a pentagon. So this shape is a pentagon. So again, let's see circle, square, triangle, pentagon. And again, see circle, square, triangle, pentagon. So this sequence is repeating. Now we have to find out what has to come next, right? So let's see this we can group into one and this in the second group. So which has to come in the next group? In the first group you can see circle, square, triangle, pentagon. Circle, square, triangle, pentagon. Again which has to come? Circle, square, triangle, pentagon. Now we can say that this sequence is complete. So this is how we complete a pattern. Let's have a look at these examples. So first, in the first line, you can see a duck, a star, duck, star, duck and something is missing here. And again, you can see a duck and a star. So what has to come here in the missing place? Let's look again. Duck, star, duck, star, duck, missing and again a duck is coming. So what has to come in between these two ducks? The star has to come. So we have to draw a star here in the missing place. Now we can say that this sequence is complete. Now let's look at the second one. Here you can see two tortoise, one butterfly. Two tortoise, and again it's missing and you can see again two tortoise. Now we have to fill here in the missing place. So which one has to come? Tortoise, butterfly. Tortoise, here butterfly has to come. So we will fill here by drawing a butterfly. And again after the butterfly, two tortoise. Now you can say that this sequence is complete. Now let's look at the third one. You have a pomegranate butterfly pomegranate something is missing there again you have a pomegranate butterfly again it's missing and we have a butterfly there let's look again pomegranate butterfly pomegranate which one has to come butterfly has to come here again a pomegranate butterfly which one has to come here the pomegranate has to come here And again a butterfly. So this sequence is also complete now. Let's look at the last one. Here we have a star, pomegranate, star, pomegranate, dash, pomegranate, star. So what has to come here? Here star has to come. 
So let's draw a star and complete this pattern here. So this is how the pattern is completed. So hope you are clear with the concept of patterns. Patterns can come in numbers also. Let's have a look at these examples. Look at the first sequence. You can see it is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So before 2, there is, an, there is no number 1 and after 2, we don't have the number 3. So look at the first two numbers, 2, 4. By how much the numbers are increasing? First we have 2, then we have 4. So 2 plus 2, 4. So we can say that these numbers are increasing by 2. So look at the second and third number, we have 4 and 6. By how much these numbers are increasing? 4 plus 2 is 6. And again, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10. So here we can say that these numbers are increasing by 2. Or also you can say that these are the multiples of 2. So 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 threes are 6, 2 fours are 8, 2 fives are 10. So this is how this pattern goes. Let's look at the next one. We have 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15. So let's have a look at the first two numbers. We have 3 and 6. By how much these numbers are increasing? We get 3 plus 3 equal to 6. And again when you add 3 with this 6, you have to get the number 9. Only then we can say that this goes on repeating at regular intervals. So 3 plus 3 6, 6 plus 3 9, 9 plus 3 12, 12 plus 3 15. Or also we can say that these are the multiples of 3. Let's have a look. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15. So the, this is how this pattern goes. Now let's have a look at the last sequence. We have 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. Let's have a look at the first two numbers. 5, 10. And by how much these numbers are increasing? 5 plus dash is equal to 10. How much it is? 5 plus 5 is 10. So let's see whether all the numbers are increasing by 5. Do we get 10 plus 5, 15? Yes. 15 plus 5, 20. 20 plus 5, 25. So we can say that these numbers are increasing by 5. Or also we can say that these are the multiples of 5. So this is how the patterns in numbers are arranged. So let's have a look at some of the examples. Shade the shape to finish the pattern. So here you have square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. It's given, triangle is given. But let's have a look again. Square is yellow, triangle is red. So the last triangle, in which color should we shade it? Yes, we have to shade it in red color. So we'll shade this in red color. And now we can say that this pattern is complete. Now let's look at the second one. Shade the shape to finish the patterns. You can see an apple and an orange. Apple is colored green, orange in orange color. So apple, orange, apple, orange, apple, orange, apple, orange. And here the color is not given. So which color we should shade orange? It has to be shaded in orange color. So we'll shade the orange in the orange color. And so the sequence is complete. Let's have a look at the third one. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. And the last one is missing. So which number has to come? 2 has to come here. Now the fourth one. Shade the shapes to finish the patterns. We have a star and a circle. Star is in blue color, circle is in yellow color. So star, circle, star, circle, star, circle, star, circle. And we have to shade the circle in yellow color. So now we can say that this shape is complete. At the fifth one, it goes A, B, A, B, A, B, a and the last one is missing. So which letter we have to write there? We have to write the letter B here. And the last one, shade the shapes to finish the patterns. Here you can see rectangle shape is given and it's given in different colors. First you can see a blue color followed by two yellow colors. Again blue, 
two yellow, blue, two yellow, blue, one yellow. So how can we complete it? By drawing another yellow rectangle. By drawing this yellow color, we can fill this sequence. So hope this is clear to you. In your textbook, page number 152, we have some exercise to do. Let's have a look at it. So you can also open your text and turn to page number 152. Here you can see, follow the pattern and color the object in the box that comes next in the pattern. So look here, we have a fish, frog, fish, frog. So which one has to come next? Fish, frog, fish, frog and again a fish has to come. So you can circle the fish in here. Next one we have a gingerbread man, a stick. Gingerbread man, stick. Which one has to come? The gingerbread man has to come. So you can do it accordingly. The next one, follow the pattern of numbers and filling the missing numbers. So let's have a look at the pattern of numbers. A, 2, 4, 6, 8 and the rest we have to fill it. So which number has to come? Let's have a look at the numbers. These are going by the multiples of 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8. The rest you can think and write it. Let's have a look at the question B. 5, 10, 15, 20. How are these numbers increasing? These numbers are increasing by 5. Or also you can say that these are the multiples of 5. So write down here the missing numbers. Next, let's learn about the growing patterns. Till now, we learned numbers, letters or shapes that are repeating at regular intervals. So let's learn how the patterns grow. Let's have a look at this. Here you can see that there are two squares. And next, we have one, two, three, four, four squares. And in the third place, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six squares. So here we can say that these patterns are not repeating, they are growing. So such patterns are called growing patterns. Let's have a look at it. Here also, you can see a circle. First, you can see one circle. Then you can see four circles. One, two, three, four. Third place, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine circles and in the fourth place let's see how many are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and you can see that these shapes are not repeating again what is happening they are keeping on growing so such pattern is called a growing pattern in your textbook page number 153 we have an activity to do let's read that Max around us. Children can draw the figure of a caterpillar growing in a pattern. So here the pattern has to grow. Let's look at it. The caterpillar made with three circles is one year old. The caterpillar made with four circles is two years old. To draw a caterpillar which is three years old, they draw five circles and so on. They can draw caterpillars up to the age of 10 by adding the required number of circles to form the pattern. So what you have to do, you can see two caterpillars given there. So this caterpillar which has three circles is one year old. And this caterpillar which has four circles is two years old. So you can see that the circles are growing. So likewise, you can draw a caterpillar which is three years old. And you have to draw a caterpillar up to the age of 10 by adding the circles. So this is an activity for you to do. Let's learn patterns around us. Not only in numbers, lines, shapes, we can find patterns. We can also find patterns in things that are around us. So let's have a look at the nature. The nature also has definite patterns. For example, can you take a leaf and see? You can see that the lines on a leaf are in a pattern. And also have you seen a rainbow? it also has a pattern. So things in nature are also having patterns. Let's have a look at a peacock. Have you seen the beautiful feathers of a peacock? They are in a definite pattern. Here you can see the patterns of a peacock feathers here. What about a zebra? You can see the black and white stripes on a zebra and it is also going in a pattern and a butterfly. 
the lines and dots in a butterfly is going in a definite pattern so not only in numbers shapes we can see these patterns we can also see patterns in our surroundings that is in our nature and also things made by man is also having some patterns let's have a look at some of the examples here you can see a spiral stairs and here you can see that it is going in a pattern see this design in this design also you can see some patterns are being followed and what about this here also you can see that the patterns are being repeated so this is how we can say that the patterns are made in man made things also now you can take your textbook and turn to page number 154 we have some exercise to do there so let's have a look at it the first one practice coach complete the patterns below in each option so the first picture you can see dots are given slanting lines dots slanting lines and here you have to fill it here the next one you can see that a triangle is being shaded upper part is shaded in pink color and in the second one the lower part is shaded in blue color and in the third picture again the upper part is shaded fourth one lower part is shaded now we have to complete the sequence see you can see in a rectangle two upside triangles are drawn in the second one you can see triangles are drawn sideways and again upside triangles again triangles side to side now you can complete the sequence also fourth one you can see in the first horizontal lines are given second vertical lines again horizontal lines vertical lines so complete the sequence accordingly let's have a look at the second question draw the shapes that come next in the given sequence so here we have to complete by drawing the shapes the first picture you can see in a circle an arrow is given and the arrow is pointing to the right side again arrow to the downwards the third picture arrow to the right side fourth one it is pointing to downwards so complete here accordingly question b you can see in a triangle a line is drawn in the center and it is shaded second picture you can see in a triangle a circle is drawn again a line is drawn and shaded fourth one you can see a circle is being drawn inside the triangle so complete the sequence likewise third you can see in a triangle one circle is there second picture you can see two circles third you can see three circles fourth you can see one two three four circles so we can say that this is going in a growing pattern so what will be coming next think and do it accordingly and the last one you can see a smiley happy face sad face happy face sad face and look at the color of the happy face it is blue sad face is yellow color again happy face is blue color sad face is yellow color so complete the sequence also accordingly so with this we finish today's class hope you understood the patterns and complete the exercises that was mentioned in this class we'll be meeting in the next class till then thank you